Mumbai Indians through to the finals, which will be played in Hyderabad. They've been outstanding this season. They've been amazing. They've got players putting up their hands and saying, listen, we'll be the match winner uh, in this game. Hardik Pandya has been amazing throughout the season. Uh, but in this game, I've got to, I've got to uh, talk about two young players. Uh, Ishan Kishan, I thought he batted with maturity. I thought he batted really well. He had an excellent partnership with Surya Kumar Yadav, who I thought was outstanding. Player of the match for me, uh, just the way he batted. wasn't an easy pitch to bat on. Um, but, you know, chasing 130 plus, I thought uh, CSK were about 10-15 runs short. Were shy of what should have been a pass score. But still, uh, with the ease with which they chased it down, uh, all credit to Surya Kumar Yadav, who I thought was outstanding. Well, CSK will look back at this game and think, yeah, we were about 15, 20 runs short. 131 was always below par. Um, they lost wickets early on. I think Shane Watson, uh, again, you know, MS Dhoni and Chennai Super Kings uh, have shown a lot of faith in him. He's got that 190 in this year's uh, Vivo IPL so far. But other than that, he really hasn't come to the party. Um, Again, you've got to you know, think, what are the players outside of that 11 thinking? Batsmen speci specifically. Thinking, how do we break into the side if someone like Shane Watson, uh, failure after failure, is going to get an opportunity to play. How do we break into the side? And, and that's something you know, they might bring up with, uh, you know, with the C CSK hierarchy. Um, I think uh, it's time for a change at the top. I think Shane Watson, uh, he's been an outstanding player, but he just hasn't clicked. In, in this year's IPL. So I think he needs to make way and, and another batsman needs to be given an opportunity.